Despite her nastiness, cruelty and neglect towards her nephew Harry Potter, Petunia Dursley was once Petunia Evans, a young girl who wished for an exciting life, and even wrote a letter to Albus Dumbledore. Why did she write to him, and what was discussed between the two? It's still a shock to many fans, even 10 years later after the books have ended, that as a young girl, Petunia Evans wasn't always the nasty, vile woman that she later grew up to be. She had a very good relationship with her sister Lily, and they often played together. However, there was always something special about Lily. She seemed to have the purest of souls and tried to see the positive in most things. Me, personally, I can't speak about sibling rivalry, but from what I've researched, it normally starts from jealousy or simply trying to outdo your family member for claim of victory. In Petunia's case, it started purely out of jealousy, but was it an understandable jealousy? Lily showed signs of magic early on. Magic, something that the Muggle world is led to believe only exists in fairy tales that many children have dreamed of. The mere fact of performing spectacular feats never thought possible is now possible, but for Lily, Petunia's sister. Surely young Petunia must have questioned herself as a person. How could her sister do things that she couldn't? Why wasn't she special like Lily? Was Lily chosen over her? As you can imagine, it's difficult to take, and in her case, it turned her into a bitter and jealous person. Not to mention, it's later revealed that there is a whole other world of magic that exists. A school for magically gifted children like Lily to attend and potentially become a very powerful witch. Perhaps gain mass fame, explore different parts of the magical sector. There's books, wands, spells, creatures. Everything that existed in books or on TV in the Muggle world is actually all real. Nothing can excuse Petunia's behaviour towards Harry over the years, but at least we can identify where it stemmed from. Petunia was so upset and hurt that she decided to write to Albus Dumbledore and ask if she could attend Hogwarts along with her sister. She could not understand why Lily could attend the school while she could not. How she was permitted to send a letter to Dumbledore in the first place is also questionable, like how she obtained the correct address and the use of an L comes into debate also. My own guess would have been when the Hogwarts representative, most likely Professor McGonagall, don't quote me on that, it's just a guess, visited the Evans family to explain just exactly what and how magic works, and the necessary precautions needed in order to protect the statue of secrecy between the magical and muggle worlds. Young Petunia most likely demanded to be able to contact the headmaster of the school and being the reasonable, fair man that Albus Dumbledore is, would graciously accept her letter as in his mind it's perfectly normal for a child to ask a question she most certainly deserved an answer to. So write to him she did, stating all of her concerns and asking if she could attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. In her letter, I'm certain Petunia would list all of her academic strengths and list her achievements too, some of which she even bettered her sister in, despite the obvious age difference. She would also make a promise to work harder than any other student if she was just given the chance. Dumbledore responded to Petunia, thanking her for her letter and began to explain the acceptance criteria for children attending Hogwarts. In his letter, Dumbledore would inform the young girl that to be capable of performing magic, a person must be born with the magical gene. It's a lot more common in the magical world than the muggle world. A non-magical person, such as Petunia, could not be granted permission to attend Hogwarts simply because, with no magic ability within her, a wand or any sort of magical training would simply not work. Lily, on the other hand, was born with the magical gene, and due to this, is capable of wielding a wand and in turn able to learn and perfect her magical skills. Dumbledore would go on to explain it's simply genetics and encourage Petunia not to feel disheartened, that she is just as capable of growing into a successful woman in her future, but he would have to respectfully decline her request to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. 
Although she would be satisfied with her explanation for being refused a place in Hogwarts, she would therefore never accept that it was Lily and not she who was born with the gift of magic. She made sure that she never felt second best again in spoiling her son and making her nephew Harry feel exactly how she felt towards Lily her entire childhood. I believe it's rather sad how Petunia gradually became so sour towards her sister. Instead of being happy for someone she loved, it was replaced with the envy of someone who lived the life she desperately wanted. And that is all for today's video everyone, thank you so much for watching, please consider subscribing to the channel if it is your first time watching, and if you're a fan of the channel and feel like you'd like to contribute, my restructured Patreon account is up and running, and in exchange for your contribution of a minimum of $1 a month, there are many rewards you can receive, like suggesting one of my upcoming videos, exclusive Patreon only videos for you to watch and even one to one Skype calls where we can hang out and talk everything Harry Potter or anything in general. So please make sure to check out some of my other videos on the left hand side of the screen. My second channel Game of Thrones lore is on the right hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out some merch, I've got a merch store on the bottom right or you can click the link in the description below. Thanks again everyone and I hope you all have a great day.